Hello everyone, and welcome to Stonehearth, or should I say, welcome back to Stonehearth. It has been an incredibly long time since I played this last. This was one of the first games that we had a proper long series on that was like a, sort of like a, it's sort of a survival game. It's a little bit different though, because you're managing people rather than surviving yourself. Um, this was one of the first games we played that um, actually got a bunch of views on the channel. And it was also, I think, the very first game that I received from a developer for free. So... Keep that in mind, I guess, as you're watching this, but also, th this is an OG game. It also has multiplayer, which I have not played yet. I've also got a bunch of mods, which I think there's a few new ones I might need to enable. Are they all on? How do I know? I, <laughs> I don't know if they're on. Uh, uh, mm, give me a second. Okay, I think uh, the subscribe mods, all of these are on. I I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So we should be good. I've got a bunch of them. I don't know. They, they add some fun content to the game. The game is pretty good without them, to be honest, but it's like, once you play it once, it's it's pretty nice to come back and, and throw some mods in. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll let this load and we'll uh, we'll create our, our settlement, I guess. Alright, so um, when you create a, I guess, a new settlement, it's pretty cool how, how stuff happens. This is a story of, and then you pick. Um, you can sort of read about them. This one's, I guess, ideal for new players. These could do different things. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the ascendancy. I, I like the I like the beginning, the start. I don't like all the different stuff. Um with that being said though, I have never played on these three maps here. I'm pretty sure I've messed around with the desert. I've definitely messed around with temperate. I mean, listen, this one looks beautiful. I, I think I'm gonna pick this one. Water everywhere or sand, whichever is disliked most. <laughs> okay. Let's do let's do that one. So as you see, oh it builds like a nice little picture over here. Um, and then we select our difficulty. So there's peaceful, which means no mobs. There's gentle, which means there's a few little mobs and stuff. I'm, I'm going to go normal. I've never been one to pick like a really difficult difficulty. But I also, you know, I like a little bit of a challenge just so that I'm not, you know, falling asleep. Um, and now we pick our people. Now, what I will say is whenever I watch a series, they spend so long picking heroes. I'm just going to have one look at this. Um, it, it's good enough for me. I, I'm happy with it. We're going to start it up. It's literally that simple. Um, Alright, now we need to pick what we start with. So, we can either start with food. So, a nice little farming setup. We get a little farmer um, hoe here. Or we can do, like, a... I guess a trapper and, like... Th this looks like some military we can sort of have set up. Oh, this actually looks like even more military. Okay. Um, then what else do we have? Money solves all the problems. A bunch of money. I mean, the classic approach is just... Just get a farmer. Right? The, the, this one looks not too bad with a cook and a blacksmith, but no, no, I, I want to start somewhat n normal. The, some of these feel a bit weird. So we're just going to do food for days, and we'll click start. Here we go. Um, I guess we're making our map and picking our map. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, Starting season, dry season, hurricane season, or wet season. Um, oh, and it tells us for the specific biome. So this is a sunny season lasting long eight months. Um, <laughs> I feel like that should be eight long months. A anyway, um, perfect for vacations, though some strong wind and rain can also happen. Okay. Hurricanes is dangerous season only lasting one month, windy and stormy at best. And the wet season is rainy season lasting three months, rain and wind. All right. So, so we'll start with the dry season. We also have some stats here. So we have um, trees and plants, wildlife and minerals. We sort of want a bit of everything. It ideally, we want the most of everything, which appears to be this spot here. But I kind of... I would like some beach as well, you know what I mean? Like, what, what can we do? Can we do one over here? Um, let me look around for a little bit. Alright, so it's not the best, but I think I'm going to pick here for literally no other reason except just, I don't know, it seems pretty cool. We do have custom world options I could have looked at, but I'm probably just going to settle here. So we're going to click settle. Here we go. We'll generate our world and we'll meet our, uh, our little people, our little settlers. Okay, we, we're actually in here. Um, I believe it's still loading because I'm... Yeah, I've got to pick where we, like, officially start. So this is the area. This is the little island, I guess, we've picked. Um, you can see there's, like... What is this? I've never... A volcano? I don't... I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> but it's up there and it's looking ominous. Uh, there's some statues over here. The quality looks a little weird, doesn't it? Like, what's going on with the shadows? Maybe, maybe I do need to turn my... Um, quality up a bit. The last time I played this was like around about the first time I upgraded my PC, so I, I, I'm guessing everything's a little low. Okay, yeah, I turned up the uh, the quality of the shadows, and 
when I do this, it's no longer horrific. <laughs> it still might not be the best, but it, it's good enough. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about, like, this spot here. Um, where exactly do I want to go? Yeah, I, you know what? I think we will take this area, and we can sort of, yeah, we, we, we can figure things out. So, click me to place banner, and then we're going to place it, I guess, right here. That's essentially going to be our town hall once it uh, loads in. Here it is. Sorry if the sound is weird again. When I, whenever I play a game for the first time, the I, I can never really get the audio just right. Um, oh, this is new. We have like a little wagon. That is awesome. The last time I played, all of this stuff would just be splattered on the ground. Um, let's go ahead and pause. As you can see, the art style is beautiful. Like, th think about this. That, that's essentially, that's a thumbnail right there. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, I love it when a game is... Just that beautiful. Um, so here's our little campfire. None of this really matters too much. Um, if I get back in the swing of things, where do I need to click? There's, <laughs> there's something I need to click on. Do I click on citizens? Yeah, here we go. So this is a list of all of our people. Um, I believe what I want to do is pick someone with a pretty decent um, body skill. So that's this middle one here. This is essentially muscle, speed, and stamina, right? Um, we'll pick the top one. Uh, you know what? We'll pick this one, actually. Um, Mika Preston. We're going to click Change Job. And then we should be able to actually, you know, give them a job. So, I want this person to be a farmer. Mika is going to be our farmer. So, once we click Play, they'll run over and they'll pick up um, the wooden hoe, wherever that was, and they'll, I guess, get started. We can also decide what they're allowed to do. You know, whether they're only allowed to do their job, whether they're only allowed to mine, build, um, hole, all that sort of stuff. Um, we also need a carpenter. Typically, you want your crafters to be, like, a good mind skill. This is, like, their their diligence and their curiosity, right? So, we're going to pick this one. I think, as well, possibly you want a high spirit. I'm not entirely sure. I think spirit might help with the quality. I, I, I could be wrong. But we're going to make Tristan. Tristan is going to be our carpenter. So, we'll click approve. Um, we can press play. They, they'll run around and do their stuff. So, there we go. They'll pick these things up. They're sort of standing within one another, so we can't really see what's happening. But we have a farmer, and we have a carpenter. And they look cool when they do it, if they actually moved. Um, <laughs> the next thing we need to do is get some resources, right? Um, we can't really do much without resources. So, we can click on this little harvest tab at the bottom, and decide what we're going to do. There's a lot of things, but all we care about at the moment is um, gather. So, we're going to gather, and we can gather this tree, and we'll put a little icon above it. And sure enough, someone will run over and go to chop it down. Um, I want all of these trees chopped. So I'm going to highlight all of those trees. It looks as if we're milking the coconut trees. Do oh, yeah. we. Oh, my God. It actually drops a coconut with a straw in it. Oh, this new map is awesome. I, I'm actually... I'm really happy about this because this game is very old. And I believe it stopped getting official updates quite a while ago. So... All of the new stuff, I guess you're seeing, I believe is from mods, which is so cool. Look at these waves coming in. Oh, I, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Oh, a strange bird. That's the other thing. There's a little bit of a, a story that goes on with this game. Um, an odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak. Stamped with the official seal of ascendancy. That's our, that's our people. Um, let's open the letter. And we'll read about it just real quick. Dear Expedition 89. I guess that's what we are. Um, they've sent us a letter and... They want us to to found our settlement, you know, like actually actually decide what we're doing. <laughs> I believe that's what this. I'm sort of summarizing because no one wants to read the slabs of text. I mean, if you're playing by yourself, be my guest. Go ahead and read it because it's 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 pretty cool. Um, but here we go. I, I probably should have clicked the skip one. We get to pick our banner, right? So this is for our people. We we get to name our settlement. Uh, well, we are we already know what's happening. This is the new crew. Um, <laughs> we can pick vitality. So trees produce more wood. Plants grow faster, and plants have two times their normal appeal. So that means, like, um, people will enjoy looking at plants um, a lot more. Strength, so mining will give more ore. That's pretty good. Halflings no longer mine cramped spaces. Ooh, that means we could do, like, a, um, a hobbit hole in the, in the mountains and stuff. Um, Banner of Cunning. Um, roads give three times their normal speed boost. Your items sell for 50% more, and traders will bring two times the goods and gold. Ooh. I like the roads one being faster. I'll be completely honest. We're going to do that. I mean, three times the movement speed. Once we have a pretty big settlement, getting to and from is going to be annoying. So I, I'm a big fan of that. Otherwise, I do like the farming. 
We're going to do the roads. We're going to do the roads. Issue declaration. Outpost established. Proclamation of outpost. Um, by unanimous agreement of the citizens, we declare the Duke. Oh, look at that beautiful text. Um, what else are we reading? To be an outpost paving the roads. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. As you can see, by the way, they have chopped these down. I, I am going to chop these trees. I want them completely gone. Not just the milk for their coconuts. So we'll get those chopped. Um, I'm also going to chop these. I want this whole area to be nothing more than a building area. Ooh, I, I don't want that. Let's, can we cancel that? Yeah, don't chop. Please don't chop the wagon. <laughs> all right. Um, all of this junk looks messy on the ground. So we're going to click this category here, designate zones. And we're actually going to make a stockpile. Um, so I'm honestly probably going to slap it down here. We'll make a pretty big stockpile. Here we go. Um, and this thing can hold everything. Sure, why not? So we'll click start. And now what they'll do is they'll go and pick up stuff when they have nothing else to do. And they'll bring it over here nice and tidy. The bird squawks. Um, it contains a note which reads, a little something to help you celebrate. Oh, and we got some ale, some bread, mead, sausages. So I guess that'll help us because, you know, we don't really have any farms set up. And the bird disappears. Beautiful. All right, so this is where stuff's going to be placed. You can already see they're bringing stuff over. We can get rid of this menu so things look a little prettier. There we go. And they hold multiple things, so you'll see them pick up a bunch of different stuff and bring it all over. Um, what else do we want to do here? Well, we, we got to finish chopping down these two trees. Um, you would think after so many years I would know the keybinds, but nope, we're clicking things. Um, we should set up a farm. Where should I set up the farm is the question, I guess. Do you... Would I be able to farm down here? What is this? Farm field, bush farm. Place a farm on grass that can grow bushes. Okay. Oh, no, it has to be on dirt. Or at least it's not letting me... Yeah, it's not letting me place it down here. A help from the seas. Is this a map-specific... Nice to meet you. I'm Miranda. Want some help? Yeah, sure. Someone accepted my help. Follow me. No, I don't... Uh, start looking for wooden food. We have both in palm trees. Yep, you harvest them, you get coconuts. Harvest, harvest it the second time, it'll chop down. Yep, knew that. Oysters. Only a fisher can harvest them, and their pearls sell for a good amount. Rumors mention rare black pearls, but I never saw one myself. Okay, so we're, we're being taught about this new map, because it's like a, it's a modded map. Um, take a look around, you might find some shipwrecks. Ooh. You can scavenger those to find good treasures. Um, that is all for now. I'll return later to check how you guys are doing. Bye-bye and good luck. This is nice. This has been really nicely imp implemented for a, for a mod. Like, I, I wouldn't have realized that's a mod if I hadn't have known it was a mod. That, that is awesome. Um, I do want to place a farm, though. I think we'll farm over here, I guess. So, I'm going to make um, some lines of crop. What is this? Two? We'll go for three. So, this is going to be turnip. I'm going to click start. So, they're going to go and uh, hoe the ground and plant some turnip. We'll do another row, which is going to be um, carrots. I'll start those up. I don't really remember how much farming we need to do. So what if I just do a few more rows as well? Because we can do another three here, which can be more turnips. And we can do another three, which can be um, more carrots. That'll be pretty nice. That'll, that'll keep our farmer busy, at least. Okay. We can also do berry bushes. Should I perhaps do um, some berry bushes? I reckon I should. I'm going to do berry bushes here. Um, oh, it didn't didn't really do anything. Place a farm on grass or dirt that can grow ornamental and fruit-bearing shrubs. Hmm. Maybe I don't have any fruit uh, fruit-bearing shrubs, um, which I imagine are these. Giant sea hibiscus can be harvested for healing herbs. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and um. Let's go ahead and order these to be harvested. In fact, let's do an auto harvest on these. What that should do, this is another, another mod addition, is once these are done, being harvested, the next time they grow food, they'll be harvested again, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. All right, it also looks like we're getting our first night time. You can see the clock in the top right here. It's just about to be 9 p.m. Um, we should start thinking about building, well, a building. What exactly do we want to do, though? That I'm not too sure about. I, I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to build something big and grand for the start. Uh, I've never really done a proper job of building my own designs. Because what you can actually do is... There should be templates. 
and I'll figure out where they are. Are they up here? You building templates. Here you go. So you can see a bunch of different templates here um, of different things you can do. Some of them, I guess, are from mods, which I guess you can possibly see. Look at these ships. What? Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I really like that. We might be building a ship soon. A tiki bar? No way. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, some of these we are going to build. <laughs> these look really cool. Um, a little pier, just a pre-made one. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I'm, I'm very, very excited about that. Um, you can actually see some previous builds I've done. This was a weaver house that I believe I built. Pretty cool. It was for my, well, my weaver. And then this is one of my proudest creations. I built this massive anvil for, well, you guessed it, the blacksmith. And it was incredible. There was even smoke coming out the top. It was... It was spectacular. We might rebuild that just out of um, out of remembrance. All right. Well, we're going to do a new building. Yep. Start a new building project. Can I get rid of that? There we go. We can, we can lower that. What what exactly do I want to do? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Rooms, walls, split walls, roofs, blocks, um, holes, stairs, roads. I think roads count as floors. So what I'm going to do is, we only have wood for now, so we can pick any of these colors here. Um, I might actually go for a nice, like, whatever the color this is, floor. Looks pretty good, does it? Mm, yeah, or I could go for the ash floor. It sounds bad, but, but I, it doesn't look too bad. Pattern of... Oh, so this is a pattern floor of all three. Yeah, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is pick out a pretty decent size here. I want to go, like... Should I go 20, 20 by 20 just to keep it? Do we want to do symmetrical? Uh, I might do 19 by 19. Let's do that. Um, so th this is a template at the moment. It's not actually obviously built. Um, our people are going to have to build them. Uh, next up, you know what? Let's make this beautiful. So I'm going to actually put in a little design on these corners like this. A nice 6 by 6 on each corner. I, I, I have a vision now. Is that what it looks like? Yes, beautiful. These are going to be like um, miniature towers, almost. Or at least <laughs> at least that's my vision. Um, we'll see exactly how well that uh, comes to fruition. Uh, so here we go. Do another 6x6. Six six. Beautiful. I like that. Next, we can do our walls. Once again, we're going to have to make them out of wood, but these ones can be a little bit more, um, I guess, woody. <laughs> Wood-colored. Um, so let's go ahead and build some walls. Um, how do these connect? They don't connect well. Hmm. I never know how to do this. Or at least I don't remember how to do this. Like, how do I then have this connect? Oh, okay. Like that. <laughs> that, that makes a bit more sense. Okay. Um, I do a room as this entire middle section. Like this. So the room all the way there. That should be right on the borders. Yep. Okay. I mean, that made the walling quite easy. You know what? I should have changed the columns. I don't really like those columns. Can I change that on the fly? No. What I could do if I wanted is I can actually pull out this paintbrush here. Um, let me know as well in the future if I should be doing this because I, you guys <laughs> you guys are having to watch it. So let me know if it's uh, entertaining watching me design it. But I should be able to do that and like just paint the, uh, the borders. That I realize as well is one level too high. So we're going to have to fix that. That doesn't look too bad. Um, let's see if we can fix this. I want to click on this room, hold this green arrow here, and bring it down one. There we go. Now it's in line with the floor, and I think that I think that works pretty well. You can also click on the walls and make them taller, make them smaller, do that sort of stuff. Um, I'll leave that one how it is for now. Let me let me paint these corners and replicate these corners a bit. <laughs> that was a little bit of a rhyme, almost. Um, I think as well I might want to. Hmm. Like I want to connect these. Yeah, you know what? I think... Mm, I think i got to get rid of this room in the middle. Yeah, you know what? I, I really feel like designing this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, design this, this center. Can they walk through that? Or is that a bit of a tight corner? Ah, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Oh, and then at the end of every day, or at the start of every new day, you get an update. You get to see how much food your people have. You get to see the net worth. And you're sort of aiming to get more population. Each time you reach these goals, you get a new uh, a new visitor. And, I don't know, some other stuff probably along the way. Um, so let me finish this off a little bit. Alright, so I've gone ahead and built this area. Um, 
it's looking pretty nice, I think. Um, these walls here, I wonder if it'll let me easily do it. I want to bring them up. Um, I don't want to bring them up with whatever column that is. Can we, can we switch that up? There we go. I want to bring these. I want them to be like the tallest part. And it appears to be working. I think I have to change it for all of these though, sadly. Um, bring these up. Maybe I should have done this before I built it. <laughs> Alright, let me... Yeah, let me go ahead and do this. Alrighty, um, so I've built these up a bit. Obviously, the corners on the inside, I don't know whether we just wall them off. You know what I mean? Like, what I could probably do is just place a few building blocks here. I could go ahead and get these ones and just sort of do something like that. And I, I don't think that'll be too bad. I if we even wanted to, what we could probably do is do like a, um, just a few blocks. Oh, so just like that and that. Eh, eh. I, I, I'm not too sure. I, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and put a roof on this middle part just to see what we're sort of dealing with. Um, okay. How exactly will this look? Hmm. You know what? Not what I was thinking. <laughs> not what I was thinking at all. Um, column wall roof. If we had some other blocks, we could do some different types of roofs. Um, you know what we could do, actually? Here, let me... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You know what I almost want to do? I almost want to do a second uh, room here on the inside. So, for example, from here all the way to there. So that there's a two-by-two two path around. I think this works pretty well. I think. <laughs> I think. What I'm also thinking is we might be able to expand these walls out, right? Like that. And we might be able to put a little door there. Is that a thing? Do we... Are there tiny doors that could be made? Um... I don't know how to try. Yeah, because if I go into object mode, it doesn't work. Can I get back into my build mode? Yes, okay. Oh, no, doors are here on the left. I was blind. Um, wooden door. They're pretty big. See, like, I can't just place a... Yeah, oh, they're very big. <laughs> this, this building I thought was going to be massive. It's actually really small. You know what I mean? Oh, and... These get placed on even, and I made it 19 by 19, didn't I? Is this door better? Oh, this door's smaller, right? Not by much, but I, th I think it's smaller. Yeah. And this guy, this guy can be centered, like that. And possibly even like that, for the sake of symmetry. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. You know what? The <laughs> this guy's going to get back like that. That should be fine. Um, all right. Let me place this roof on. So we've got a wooden roof. I'm going to place it across this guy. I believe that's how we want it. Oh, right there. Yep, so that, that that's symmetrical. What we can do is we can click on the roof, and we can actually decide where we want it to curve in. So we can have it curved in like that. We can even, you know, make it pointy. We can make it flat. Um, you get a lot of options. So is this what I want to do? What are the options if I turn all of these off? Nothing. We get like a square. I could do like a, a left... Right? And bring this up. <laughs> Does that look bad? It it doesn't look great. Listen, it doesn't look great. What if we do left and back? Right? This could be interesting. <laughs> interesting is probably the best way to explain it. Okay. Let's also bring it in a bit. Like that. And bring it in there. I think this looks nice. And then all I have to do is bring these walls up to match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's perfect. It is perfect. You know what? On second thoughts, that is a horrible idea. This looks hideous. We are not doing that. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know how you guys almost let me do it. You guys are psychopaths. Psychotic. Let's just... A flat roof? No, I kind of... I kind of want a little bit of point. You know what I mean? Like, I want a little bit of, like... Like that. I, I think that's fine. I think that's perfect. <laughs> um, I still need to figure out what I'm doing with these, like, um, these parts here. Do we just leave it like this? <laughs> I don't, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to come back with something a little bit more finished. Okay. Um, I, th I think this is a an alright shape. I mean, I've really gone all out for this first one. This is going to take a while to build. Um, what I should be able to do as well... I don't know how to do it. I think I can press this. And we can lower like the levels. And so like we can see the ground floor and stuff like that. And, it, and we can actually build things. Um, so... Hmm. You know what? Because of the way I've changed this, I think this entire, like, middle structure doesn't 
really need to exist, if I'm honest. I think that can go all the way down. Although it's not really looking too promising, is it? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna delete that. The reason why that's annoying is because now the roof is gonna. Oh no, the roof stays. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. We we can work with this. Nice. I I'm decided to just cut off these towers so that at the moment they're purely just decorational. Um. Once we're in here, what do we want to do? I mean, we need to put down some furniture. So, at the start, it's likely just going to be beds, right? Well, do I want them to sleep, or do I, do I want this to be like a dining hall? I mean, it's near the food. What are we What are we thinking? Or it could be... I don't know. It could be all different, like, uh, workstations for people, I guess. Should we do that, perhaps? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I genuinely... Uh, I'm struggling here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to chuck on some windows, and we'll just... We'll have them start building it. How does that sound? Okay, I've placed a few different things, like we've got some torches around, some lights, some windows. I I'm pretty happy with this. I I I'm pretty happy. I think I, I think we're good to go. Can I rename it? I can. We're gonna call this um Town Hall. That's what it's gonna be. This is going to require 42 logs, which hopefully we have, and 26 different types of furniture, which are gonna be all these things, which we can't currently craft because we need our carpenter to get hooked up. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's go ahead and click build. Just so that we can get a little showcase on how this whole thing works. Um, so, I can leave the build menu. And have a look at this. They've already started. They're digging out the floor um, for the building. How cool is this? And so, it's all in their hands now. Now, now they've got to pretty much build everything. Um, what we do have to do is click on crafters and carpenter. And we've got to make a few things. So, for one, we need to make a carpenter workbench. So, let's go ahead and click craft. Um, down here, you can see how much you can, like, change to craft. So, like, if I wanted to craft 10 of these, I could. And you can also do maintain. What maintain does is, once I place down this carpenter workbench, uh, we, we no longer have any in storage, which means he would go and build another one. And he'd maintain so that one is always in storage. And that's how that works. Um... A splitting block, whilst we have the resources, um, we require a carpenter workbench to be placed. Um, so, we need to go ahead and do that. Let's click on this one here, the place menu. Um, click place item. And here's our carpenter workbench. For now, we'll just place it near all of our uh, dropped items. Our, like, stockpile here. And that should be pretty good. What do we have? Um, some seeds to grow some trees. And some healing herbs. Oh, okay. I would like to plant this over here where we've got our other healing herbs. So we'll do that. Uh, what else can we do? A big well? Clean water? Um, I mean, we might as well, right? Let's let's go ahead and build a well. Where do we want to put this? Um, I guess we'll just place it there. I don't see any harm in doing that. So that's cool. Build a fence? Oh, we could, we could have fenced our crops off. I mean, I still sort of can, right? What are these? Picket fence large, picket fence post, fence small combo. Um, I only want just a small one, I think. So let's... Picket fence small. Picket fence combo. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what this is doing. Oh. A little bit weird. <laughs> hmm, you know what? Uh, can we pause this? That, that is, we do not want that to happen. That does not look good. I, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I do want to place a fence though. I would like to learn how to do this. I think what I want to do is I want to place just a small fence. Oh, okay. No, no, I understand. So we place a post, then we can place our other posts, and then we can decide what we want to place. So for example, I can place just combos all the way along, or if we wanted, we could just place like these beams and do it ourselves. Um, I'm probably just going to do the combos. So, essentially, what I should be able to do is pretty much that. And I think that'll work pretty well. Another thing is, I I don't remember how to rotate. Is it Q and E? Nope. Is it comma and... Nope, it's not that. I, I, I don't remember. R? Nope. <laughs> I, I've pressed that so many times already. I do not learn. Um, It's something. And I'll figure it out. I'm probably going to read the controls. Okay, it does appear to be the commas and whatnot. So, let's try this again. Let's click this. Um, I'm going to press full stop. I'm going to press comma. Not really not really doing it, is it? <laughs> um, 
Hmm. I am at a loss. Do you reckon I could just... Oh, there we go. That works. I, I just had to click and drag, you know? I had, to I had to man up and do it. Um, I guess we'll see how that goes. I don't know if it's going to look how we want it, but I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I need to put a small one in here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That fixes it up. And let's do that. And... Not too bad, if I say so myself. This part's going to look a little weird, but it's fine. Oh, actually, wait, what we can do is... Nope, stop. Freeze. Um, we can go ahead and cancel um, this one. We're going to cancel this... Because we need a way in, right? I completely forgot about that. So, <laughs> this has turned into just like a building episode. I'm going to go ahead and place a post there. That's what? The third block across. So, it's about here. That still looks a little weird, doesn't it? Um, Alright, you know what? This works. And we place this post... Um, I can't really tell. I think I want to place it there. I think that works. And so, so we'll leave that. There we go. Okay, beautiful. They can continue doing their thing. Um, so, let's close this menu so we can see what we got. We have some beautiful farming happening. Maybe we wanted to make it a bit bigger. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, we have the building being created. They're already building the floor. Um, can I see my inventory? Is that on the town hall? Um, inventory 151 things. We can click on inventory and see exactly how much we have. Oh, we have plenty of logs. We need, what, like 42 to build this entire thing? Beautiful, is all I'm going to say. Um, so they actually do some cool stuff. If you look over here, you can see it already. They build scaffolding to actually, um, make this thing. Pretty cool. Um, we are going to need to, you know, make beds for them so they're happy. Um... We'll probably do that in the next episode. I'm hoping I record a few episodes of this. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I, I really enjoy this game, so... I mean, honestly, I'll probably just play it in my spare time. If, if the videos are doing horrendous, but... Um, I think last time they did pretty well, so... Hopefully you guys enjoy it. There's some turtles down here. Do we... Do we want to go down there? M maybe next episode. We, we've got some stuff to do. I would love to hear some uh, suggestions as well. If you have, like building designs or, or concepts you want to do. I, I might not do them all because I've obviously... Like, I don't want to go living in the mountains. Um, like, in the hills dug up and stuff. Um, so, like, some things I'm, I might have to decline, but I, I'm always happy to hear some some tips. Look at you. Sleeping on the job. I don't know if that's dedication or, or the opposite. <laughs> Alright, I, I think we're good. Can I unpack this? No, it's, it's a storage. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I guess, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please do consider subscribing or, or, or liking the video or, or doing both if you, if you feel necessary. Um, can we light this guy? I feel like the campfire would be beautiful to have lit. I don't know why it's not. Oh, I, I, here we go. Oh, you ready? Beautiful. you love to see it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Um, this has been Stone Hearth. This has been me play playing Stone. This is this is the outro. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So I didn't want like a, a music company um, copyright striking my videos in like the future. So uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this this is the best I could do. I'm I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> uh, mate, you know what? In hindsight, silence might have been better. Well, you live and you learn.